Great, so let's talk about some of these functions. This video will be about the processing functions len, round, and type. Now, calling them processing functions, I'm just grouping functions together. We're going to learn about nine in this class, or rather in this session. The best way to demonstrate any of these functions is by example. So let's take a look. Here's the len function. We've already talked about it. Len takes a string argument and it returns an integer. So you just need to remember that that's how len works. The integer, of course, is the number of characters in the string. We'll use len for more object types in the future, but for right now we can just think of len as a function that works with a string and tells you how many characters are in the string. I can run each one of these to let you see the result, although it's not surprising. The round function takes a float and returns another float or an integer depending on what we're asking it to do. Here we're seeing round with two arguments. This is the first function that we've seen that takes two arguments. And as you can see, when we pass two arguments to a function, we separate them by a comma. So round takes a float and then an optional second argument. As you can see, we're also calling round with just one argument. With two arguments, round will return a float with the value rounded to the number of places requested. And as you can see, 5.507 will round up to 5.51. If we pass only one argument, it'll take that float and it's assuming that we mean zero places. What it'll give us back is an integer. So it'll allow us to see uh, the number rounded to, oh, I should have saved that, the number rounded to uh, just an integer position. So 5.507 returns uh, or rounds up to 6. The type function is very special. The type function will tell us the type of any argument. Now you can see how we're using it. We're actually using it in a very special way. Instead of assigning the return value of type to a new variable name, we're calling type and then placing the entire call inside of print. So what we're seeing is the return value of type printed. Type of x, integer. Type of y, float type of Z, stir. So you can see that it's possible to inquire, or the proper term is inspect an object to see what type it is. Every object has a type, as we know, and type tells us what type it is. You can use this for diagnostic purposes. If you need to check the type of an object, which you rarely do, we do have another function called isInstance, but type is great for diagnostic purposes. Now we're gonna use len in our project. Len is gonna allow us to see the length of a string and we're gonna need that for the first project. Round, we're gonna need for the tip calculator when we have a very long float and we need to round it. And type again is used for diagnostic purposes.